and welcome to this video. This is going to be a declutter of my wardrobe. This is my back room where we have these lovely wardrobes behind me here. Classic IKEA packs, packs I think. I figured that now that Scotland is starting to see a little bit of sun, which is good news for us, I would do a little declutter of my wardrobe because I will actually start pulling out some bits for spring and summer and putting away the woolly jumpers, the gloves, the hats and the scarves. Now, on this side here, this is my wardrobe, this is Alan's wardrobe, at this side, and basically the majority of my clothing is in this wardrobe, the majority of Alan's is in this wardrobe, with the exception I have a few things for my work uniform down the bottom here, and a couple of jackets that I just couldn't fit into my own wardrobe. I do also have a massive chest of drawers, which I will probably go through as well, but this video is mainly going to be just clearing out this wardrobe. Um, what I tend to do is, you know the thing where people will put their hangers backwards and then if they don't use it they think I haven't worn that this whole season so therefore I'm getting rid of it. I don't do that but what I do do is I have storage at the top of these wardrobes. Our wardrobes are very high, we live in a tenement flat so they're very very tall and at the top bit I have storage boxes where I would keep my autumn winter stuff and then swap into spring summer when the time comes, like today. What I'll do is open my wardrobe, take out things that I know clearly I'm not going to be wearing through the summer, things that I probably haven't worn throughout the last couple of seasons and during the last time I'd done this going into autumn and winter thought I'll leave it in there, if I don't wear it the next two seasons then I'm going to pass it on, put it in a charity shop or sell it on. So that is what I'll be doing today. If you like these kind of videos, then please keep watching. Oh, I also have to give a little disclaimer here. I do not have a big fancy camera, so I can't do like panning wide shots, unfortunately. So there is going to be kind of movement. I'm going to have to move my camera so you can actually see inside here because the door only goes that far and you will not really be able to see everything. So I will move you over slightly and I apologise for that. I am not a fancy YouTuber. Okay, so for the purposes of, so you understand the layout, my wardrobe is ye high, and look, there's a cat box up there, <laughs> um, this high, and when I open it, I have all my clothes, a couple of bits for shoes and what have you, shoes and bags, three drawers and more shoes, and on the very top there, you'll see the storage boxes that I use and that has all my kind of spring and summer stuff in it so I will be bringing that down and swapping in and putting a lot of this away for this next couple seasons. Okay so I'm hoping this is a slightly better angle for you to actually see me at. Um, oh, I'm kind of dreading this because it's going to be one of these things I'm going to start doing and then you know halfway through it I'm going to be like oh god why, why did I start this. I'm going to clear out, you can see here there's lots of coats, you can see here there's lots of jumpers, I live in Scotland I can't possibly get rid of all of my coats and jumpers because we just can't have a confirmed summer here. It's not going to happen. So I will get rid of a few things. I just think, you know, I'm not going to need that many coats over the summer. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so starting off at the very far end are three kind of more formal wear things. Three gowns, four gowns actually. Things like this I don't really take out of my wardrobe because I have nowhere else long enough to store them and I wouldn't want to fold them all up into a little tiny box. So these will go back in but I'll remove them for the moment till I have a bit more room. Ooh. Coats. This is more of a kind of transitioning from summer into autumn item that I wear but I think khaki is really like kind of big this year. I think that khaki is easily worn with a lot of other things. So I might keep this one because it's very light. It's not a heavy jacket at all. Um, rolled up sleeves and very good for like to smarten up or casual things down quite easily. Um, so I may well keep this one in my wardrobe because it's so light that I'll be able to wear it over summer. This is my lovely camel coat that I got. See, I'm doing this thing where I said I wouldn't do, like talk about every single item, but it's quite difficult. So my camel coat, I'm going to put this one away into storage. Um, I could still wear this, it's still a nice colour for springtime I would say, but it's definitely heavier. I don't think I will wear it as much over summer, so let's put this one into storage. I kind of feel the same about this one, this is a Primark one actually, a kind of houndstooth check 
long line coat and you can't count on the weather here but it's definitely not going to be one that I would like to be thinking I'll have to wear spring or summer so I'm going to put this one away as well. These two, you know, woolly coats, again, I'm hoping I'll not have to wear this over spring or summer but this one here is like a, what do you call them? I, I would call it a body warmer but some people call it a gilet. Um, kind of sheep skinny looking type thing. I'll keep this one out because sometimes this is good to throw over um, like boho type dresses. If you can hear that, that's my cat tearing up my raffia chair. Stop it! She's a bugger. Um, so this here I think I'm going to keep and just for a little, sometimes on like summer nights it's a little bit cooler and it'll be useful to have. So I'm going to keep this one in the wardrobe, put this one in storage. I'll tell you a funny story about this coat. Um, Basically, this isn't mine. <laughs> I went out to the dancing one night in a teddy bear coat, furry coat, this colour. Uh, went to flat 01, so if anybody's watching this and went home with this coat in this colour, that's mine. And I took yours by accident, but I'm really sorry. Uh, mine wasn't there anymore and I lifted this one, so I apologise. We've obviously swapped coats. But I like this colour. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, you know, you get so drunk you come home with someone else's coat and equally they took mine so it wasn't like, you know, I, I didn't steal it, they've got mine. Okay, so there's a couple of little like oddities just after that and there's this big long pink skirt and it's got one of those drop high-low backs to it. Um, this is a kind of very formal looking thing but actually I'm going to put a little picture in of me wearing it with a really ripped up band t-shirt and some converse. I really love this skirt. I don't wear it as often as I should. I don't get really opportunity to wear it as often. And I would think it's something that a lot of people might say, I'm going to sh ship this on to someone else or put it in a charity shop or sell it because I don't wear it. But it's what I wore to my dad's funeral. Again, bit odd, but you know, it's just something with a bit of memory to it for me. So I'm going to keep this one. And again, I just don't want to fold it up and put it in a tiny box. So it'll go back in there with the formal wear stuff because I really don't have anywhere else to put it. And this one here, again, plastic wrapping, um, is by Erdem. Now, I'm sure a lot of people know who Erdem is. He's a very um, well-known now uh, fashion designer. Lots of people wear his stuff. If you go on Instagram, you Google him, whatever, you'll see who it is. And 10, 12 years ago, I done an internship with Erdem and had the opportunity to buy this lovely summer frock. So I will never get rid of this, never ever, because the reality is I would never be able to afford um, a piece of Erdem clothing now. So when I bought this, I got it at the, the cost value that, you know, buyers would have bought it at. So I got it for that and it should have went into Harvey Nicks for about £600. So I would never be able to have afforded this and it's been a couple of years since I've worn it, but I think it's quite classic. It's a watercolour kind of toile de rêve print, um, just a kind of summer dress. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. So this also will go back in with a formal wear. It's a beautiful dress from Oasis with two long splits in the front. Maybe a bit more kind of winter florals, but actually I could see me wearing this any time throughout the year. So this is going nowhere. This is a uh, Marquis. Um, it's actually more of a midi dress, it's not quite maxi, it does have a little slip underneath it there as well and it is something that I generally would wear more often in the autumn but it's still a really nice floral print so I'm going to keep that out. Sometimes I actually just wear it over jeans as well, it's very very see-through, you couldn't just wear it with that alone um, but this will be getting kept and I will pop this back in, I don't see why I couldn't wear it over spring and summer. Um, I think I got this from Debenhams about 10 years ago, it's like a boho maxi kind of the paisley print yeah more of a paisley print um dress to be honest with you this has not been worn at least for a year maybe even longer actually so this one's going to get passed on to a charity shop or be sold bet you're watching this thinking jesus christ she's got half wheel on the wardrobe and that's the first thing she's got rid of now there's two dresses and one on here so this one is from h m it's a, a knitted one uh, kind of yellow stripe. I will not be getting rid of this. I've been wearing it so much in the spring season. I know it's knitted, but as I say, you can't count on the weather in Scotland. So it's worked really well for me and I'm not going to get rid of this. And this here is like a yellow, almost like a kind of yellow long line jacket. It's not actually a dress. It doesn't have any buttons at the front. It's more like a really long line kimono style, could you say? It's nice, but I picked this up in the sale from New Look for about 
a fiver or something like that and it is a size 16 it's far too big and I thought well it'll not look bad throwing it over the top of things to, to just layer and style things but to be honest with you I think I've had the wear out of it it's just a little bit too big and it just doesn't sit quite right even when I layer it over things so I think I'm going to pass this one on to someone or uh, put it in the try it shop. Three jumpsuits here this one is from Collusion I want to say it's from ASOS but I think the brand is called Collusion and it's like a really oversized um, jumpsuit and it doesn't look much but actually on I really love it so I'm not getting rid of that and that one there is the one I wore at New Year from Marquis when it went into the sale. I was so glad that I got it and I absolutely adore it as well with little stars on it. So I'm not going to get rid of that one. Put it on a nicer hanger though. This one here is from New Look and yes, the tag is on it. <laughs> I have worn it and I kept the tag on it because I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about it. And I thought, well, even if I want to pop it onto eBay or Depop, it's better that, you know, it's, it's like new. I've only worn it once. And I really, really like it. It's a size 12, but it's in the petite range. And I wish that they'd done this style in the normal new look range, but at the time when they sold this last year, they didn't. So actually, I'm kind of wondering, what I'm going to do is, again, I will put this one in, because I obviously bought it kind of winter season. I'm going to put this one in, and if I don't wear it over this summer, then this will get passed on as well. Okay, so blazers, kind of suit jackets type thing. Um, I have been wearing both of these. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see me how I style things. Um, and I have been wearing these. These are not going anywhere. This, I think, could be worn into winter. Um, this one is obviously just a little bit different. And I mean, you could wear it in winter, but I think it's more of a kind of spring, summer style. I do already have a blazer very similar to this from River Island, and I'm sure it's up here in my spring summer boxes but this isn't my blazer this is my mum's blazer and it was just a little bit different so I can't I, I can't, can't get rid of this one I will give it back to her so that one's just under there just now and the one with this kind of gold buttons on it is going nowhere this is a stunning tweed kind of suit from Zara basic I'm not going to be getting rid of this I think this could easily be styled in summer as well so you'll find a lot of the things I've got in my wardrobe are easily transferable and because of where the climate that I live in I don't necessarily feel the need to you know totally overhaul my wardrobe all the time. I also have this trench coat from Zara which I adore and I think I've had for the better part of three years now. Always comes in useful at this time of year. I always wear it right through till we get to about mid-September and then I feel it's just not heavy enough and then I might get my camel coat back out again but this one will stay. Leather jacket, denim jacket, both going nowhere. Perfect for this time of year, perfect for this climate. What can I say? Okay, so I feel like these probably shouldn't be in my wardrobe because these are most definitely spring summer things. They're like those kind of pajama style, um, what would you say? Paper bag waist type, just lazy, comfortable tapered trousers. Um, now the thing is I love these, I really like them and they're very comfortable, very lightweight in the summer and the spring so I'll probably keep a hold of these ones in my wardrobe at the moment but these are probably about four years old now, I probably could do with picking up a new pair, they're getting a little bit tatty but at the moment I will keep a hold of these. Now these ones here are from H&M, uh, a similar style kind of almost like a jogger but with a pinstripe so kind of trying to smarten up that style of trouser and what I've came to realise is I don't suit the shape of this trouser I keep trying to, to wear it sorry this is an, another pair from Marks and Spencers that I got in the sale um, and I keep buying them and trying to make it happen and it just isn't and I, and I love the style of them I see other people wearing them and whenever I put them on I just think Jesus Christ like what are you doing so I think I'm gonna sell these ones on these are so cute they've got a little like turn up at the bottom of the heel I mean they look lovely they are lovely and then see when I put them on I'm like that's flipping horrible it just doesn't it doesn't suit me it's not the right shape for me I'm too bottom heavy to pull off that cigarette pant style leg so I'm gonna pass these on and get these sold to someone obviously because that those ones are new um, and the H&M ones are in really good nick as well. These are all skirts, um, three leather skirts 
uh, one kind of short mini version and two pencil style, one in a khaki and one in a plum. I'll not be getting rid of these but they will go into storage for next year. Don't see me wearing them throughout the summer, they're much more of an autumn winter style. God, look how much cat hair is on this one. Um, this is just a black pencil skirt I got from Zara years ago. It's pretty much my job interview skirt. So that's the only reason I really keep it. I don't wear it on the regular. And this one here is from H&M. It's like a little tweed mini skirt. I'm going to get rid of that because I've had it for so, so long. And I think at a point I did wear it quite often. But to be honest with you, I've probably not had it on for the last kind of two years. And I've held on to it just thinking oh I used to wear it all the time but I don't wear it anymore and I don't really see any time for me wearing it now it's just not my style it's not what I would wear so I'm going to get rid of this one. Now moving on last year I feel the trend of a pleated skirt and like you know with a nipped waist and a pleated skirt just went boom like absolutely mad especially between the kind of age ranges of mid-twenties to even as far as you, you know your sixties and seventies I feel like a lot of the blogger moms or mum bloggers were all wearing pleated skirts. Now don't get me wrong, I quite like a pleated skirt, I don't dislike them, I own quite a few. But equally there's part of me that feels a little bit like everybody's now doing it and it's just such a scene thing that it puts me off doing it now. So for that reason I'm probably going to get rid of a few of these. Um, this one here is a Marks and Sparks one. Uh, this actually isn't a pleated one, it's more like a tiered skirt and actually I bought this in the sale as well and I, I put it on and I liked it and then actually I've hardly ever worn it. It's in really really good nick um, so I'm going to try and pass this one on or sell it on because I just I just don't wear it and somebody else could get so much more use out of it. Um, I think it was one of those ones when you're trying to buy into a trend and it was in the sale, you know, you get it for... 12 quid instead of 40 and you think oh that's a great deal but I just have never worn it and it's not my style at all I don't know what I was thinking. These two however I do wear quite frequently and they are pleated skirts I know but I think they're very useful for spring and summer and I, I would wear them over and over again so I'm going to keep these ones. Again I think this was when I was kind of just jumping on that trend of the pleated skirt it's another Marks and Spencers one and I think I've worn it twice and now looking at it I'm like mm -hmm. No, not for me. Don't really know why I picked it up. A bit silly. This absolute beauty, however, is from Next. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very structured, kind of A-line, sticky out skirt. Uh, nipped in at the waist. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I've never worn it. I bought this one and the pink one that I showed you that I wore to my dad's funeral at the same time. And then decided to wear the pink one and have kept this one ever since. And I've never ever worn it and I'm kind of like when have I had an occasion to wear it to I just it's got pockets it's so cute it's so cute and every time I do this transition thing that I do every kind of couple of seasons I put it back and think right I'm, I'm not getting rid of it I'm going to wear it but I haven't done it so I really think this needs to be sold on to someone who would get so much more use out of it than me I've never bloody worn the thing which is disgraceful um, but it's brand spanking new and I think somebody else would absolutely love it. Um, if you're wondering, like, I don't know, maybe, you, maybe you're watching this video and you think, oh, that's a lovely skirt, I would love that skirt. Either drop me a message um, on YouTube, on Instagram, whatever. Let me know if you would like it. It's a size 12. Otherwise, I'll probably put it up on Depop. I have a Depop site and I will link it down below. Um, I have put things on eBay before but I think sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to do, it's a little bit more hassle but equally the problem with Depop is you put things up and you put it on for a tenner and somebody will like, I'll give you a fiver for it. Well, no. I'm wanting a, a tenner for it because I paid like £15 for it. I, I don't want to take a fiver. Thanks anyway. So, I will pop it up for sale, I'll put the links below. But if you see it and you think, no, don't put it in sale, I don't want to fight with people for it, then give me a little message and let me know about any of the things that I'm saying that I'm putting up for sale. These are kind of pinnifer style, either dungarees or dresses. Um, much more for autumn and winter. I don't think I'm going to keep any of these out for summer. And actually, this one here, oh, the knee straps just fell down. I think is now just that little bit young for me. Oh, God. 
yeah I think this is now just a little bit young for me I just don't see me wearing it in the future it's very Cher from Clueless which is very much my era and probably about 90s I haven't worn it for at least two years I would say and I don't see me wearing it so I'll get rid of this one and these can go to storage more kind of winter style dresses now this this knitted dress I have owned since I was 18 or 19 like a long long time I've had this for about 15 years or something like that um maybe even since I was about 17 but let's be honest like when did I last wear it I don't bloody remember so I think this has to go I think I've just been keeping a hold of it because kind of sentimental value but I have not worn this oh in over five years anyway at least so this has got to go this year just a really nice cotton kind of H&M print dress really like this especially in the winter with some big boots and stuff like that I'm not going to get rid of it but I'm not going to wear it over spring or summer so that can go to storage I think I probably got this when I was in my early 20s as well it's just a blue dress from New Look I again very pretty actually very pretty for spring and summer um but I don't think I've worn it look it's got kind of brodery ongly at the bottom I don't think I've worn it for two or three years now so I'm going to pass this on to someone who'll get better use out of it and this is a little stripey number this is a dress <laughs> it's hanging there and it's like is that a top what is that um it's a kind of bardo style dress got from forever 21 when forever 21 was still in Glasgow um and it's good but I mean I think it's had its use to be honest with you it looks a bit sad now I just kind of liked it at the time it was like a bodycon stretchy dress but I've not worn it for a long time so I think I can get rid of that too. Okay, knitwear. So, my kind of stripey Breton top, do they say that? I will probably keep this out for spring and summer because it's not a terribly heavy jumper but also will be useful in spring summer months so I will keep that out. Um, this yellow one, I think it's just a Primark jumper. I will put it in storage because I absolutely adore the colour. I will not be getting rid of that. This one, however, is another kind of Primark one. Has some interesting detail on the back, like a cut out on the back. I remember buying it because I thought, oh, that's a really pretty colour. It's a colour I never fucking wear, so I don't know why I picked it up. Really silly of me. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now and I kept it in the last time I'd done this, thinking if I wear it over kind of winter season, this time then I'll keep a hold of it I haven't so it's going to a kind of roll neck plum style from new look this is going just simply because it's done the edges of it are all frayed I don't know if you can see here like it's all just coming away and um, I got a really good wear out of it but at the end of the day it's coming to pieces and it's all unraveling so it's just going in the bin this is my big oversized Zara jumper dress I'm not getting rid of this but I will keep it for next year I adore it I've been wearing it so much uh, I think I got it January 2018 and it's been consistently worn anytime the weather deems fit. It's like oversized dusty pink one from H&M. I will keep hold of and probably keep it out for spring summer as well because again it might come in useful. I think this is going to be one of these ones that I'll put it in if I don't wear it this season it'll go because every year it gets less and less but I'll give it a try. And this lovely bright thing here I have had for a very long time and it's actually two sizes too small for me I think is it an eight or a ten I can't remember it's a little bit small it's kind of shorter in the body this was in a bag to go to the charity shop and then this year on my birthday I just kind of pulled it out and wore it and thought bloody like pink it's just so nice so I'm not going to get rid of this uh, but I will put it away in for storage for next year look at that gap now that's exciting <laughs> okay so these are all dressed oh god I nearly fell over there because I was that heavy oh all right um bodycon white dress it's like quilted I don't know if you, it looks a bit like toilet paper <laughs> but actually when i got this i really enjoyed it i was going on a lot more nights out when i bought this so it seemed like a good idea at the time uh it's a size 12 it's from cameo rose you know i think from new look um i don't wear it anymore i've left it in there because i think when i put it on it's a nice dress but it's just i don't have occasion I don't go on nights out anymore, I don't like go clubbing or anything and even if I did I probably wouldn't wear this so no I'm just gonna pass this one on. This is one of these ones that you buy and I think yep that's nice it's lovely very good and then I think where where do I go that I buy formal office wear looking dresses I know it's red but where do I go where I wear this 
like nowhere, absolutely nowhere. And it's a difficult one because maybe if I did go to something where I have to be a bit more formal but not gown worthy, you know, oh I could wear it then with a nice pair of heels but I don't think I'm going to feel like me in it. Like I don't feel like that's my style and that's what I do. And I try things like this on and I think, God, that looks really flattering. It's very nice. Gives me a lovely figure and my like shape, things like that. It's a kind of nice curvy shape and red. I always really like red. It suits me very well. But let's be honest here. I don't feel comfortable in it. It doesn't feel like me. So what's the point in keeping hold of things like this that literally I am never going to wear? I have had this for at least three years. I bought it when me and Alan went out for a meal one night at Christmas or something and it was before we bought this place and we've been here for three years so actually I probably had it three and a half years and had it on my back twice so no just no this little denim number here I did attempt to style again quite recently I put it on thinking spring summer you know denim it's really good I love a bit of denim but uh, it just doesn't suit me it's just a little bit too tight across the hips and it's quite apparent. I do not have a big bust, but I have big mama hips. And basically, it just kind of pops, the buttons pop a little bit on the hips and it doesn't look very flattering. So I'm gonna pass this one on to someone who would get some good way out of it. This is my little, like, tartan style dress. I don't think I will get rid of this because sometimes in Scotland you just call for it. Sometimes there might be somewhere you need to go that you need one. And actually, I really like the style of it. It's been a long time since I wore it. I used to wear it out on nights out all the time. But I, I'm not going to get rid of this because I feel like it might come in handy. I just feel, I just feel like I don't want to get rid of it. It's very much me and my youth. And you know that, like people say, oh, Mary, Marie Kondo or whatever her name is. If something gives you joy, then don't get rid of it. And looking at this dress gives me joy. Putting this dress on gives me joy. And even though I've not worn it for a good year. I just love it and I don't want to get rid of it. This little spotty number hasn't been worn in quite some time but I actually think for spring and summer this is going to be quite relevant and actually I've probably had it maybe three or four years from H&M and I used it again this was one that was kind of job interview worthy a nice pair of tights and looking a bit smarter but not looking like I'm wearing a suit jacket type thing but you could wear it with a blazer and it looked quite smart um, but I think I might get some use out of this this spring summer so I'm not going to get rid of this we'll see how I go with it and if it comes to an autumn winter when I'm cleaning out my clothes I'll think did I wear it or not now the next three dresses I'm not going to get rid of any of them but they are all going to go into storage this is Erdem for H&M so this is more the level of Erdem that I can afford nowadays <laughs> um, this is a beautiful kind of drop waist definitely winter floral dress i absolutely love it it's going nowhere i think it cost me 70 pounds uh, it came in this really cute little hanger as well it actually says aerodyne for h&m on it um but i'm not going to get rid of this it's very very useful in the winter months and i think it's just adorable i really really like it it's got gorgeous kind of detailing and all this kind of stuff i'll keep this keep this and the same kind of goes for these two. This one is H&M and actually this is completely like transparent on the top but you wear it with a nice bra and it's fine. Um, kind of very much winter florals and this one's from Next Winter Florals but I'm not getting rid of either of these, they'll just go into storage. Well look at that for some space. Can you actually, look at that. Fabulous. Right, so this is, oh, accessories and belts and what have you. Let's be honest here. Am I going to wear all these? Probably not. Let's have a look. See, um, yellow scarfs, fine. These two scarfs I haven't worn, and Christ knows how long they can go. Um, this belt as well. Remember when like waist belts were a big thing? You would wear waist belts as if you were a fucking wrestler or something. Um, I don't, I don't wear them. Don't remember the last time I did, so it can go as well. Here's another waist belt. Let's just do that. I think, to be fair, the majority of these accessories, not that one, I'll get rid of that, are things that I'll either pull on or need or use again. So I'm not actually going to get rid of any of this stuff here. I've got rid of three belts that I know I don't wear, um, but the rest of it can all stay. So we're getting on good guns here, it's going really well. I'm going to go through the drawers now. The top one is purely gym stuff. I am not going to subject you to that. There is no point in subjecting you to that as gym stuff. Like, what's the point? 
So I'm going to go through that, put a bit of speed on it, you won't have to watch it. And then I may locate my gym stuff to another area. That's what I'm thinking. Um, where it may be just a box under the bed that I can pull gym things out and use this drawer for something else because this drawer is now packed with gym stuff and you're lucky if I get to the gym twice a week at the moment because I really just do not have the motivation for it and I've got all these clothes that I've had for years when I used to go to the gym quite a lot so let's clear some of it out let's keep what I need for yoga classes blah 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 and then I'll maybe use this drawer for something else Honestly, I'm starting to get palpitations a little bit about how messy this room is now. <laughs> so I'm going to bring down my summer boxes, start pulling things out and hopefully uh, it's just started raining. Bringing down summer clothes and it's just started raining. This is Scotland. Um, I'll bring them down, we'll see what's in them and I will put things out that I think I'm going to keep and i might bring things out and think oh why why have i put that away again like i just haven't going to use that so i will see i might need to get a little stool to get up there though because it's very high oh right okay so as i said these three drawers here are now going to be strictly for kind of bikini shorts stuff that i can pull in and out of here but my t-shirts and things that i wear on a daily basis are more kept in the drawers in my bedroom. I will do a kind of quick rundown of what's in them in another video because I feel like this is going to be long enough as it is. So for like these kind of things that you wear in the summer, I will probably put them into these drawers here. Now these ones are really cute, they have little palm trees on them, wait I'll show you. Look, they have little palm trees. So it's not overly my style but I think for going on holiday and things like that these come in really useful. So. I am going to pop these in my drawer. If I don't wear them over this summer, we'll move on. I then have really, really like long line summer dresses. Cat, stop it. Just pulling everything I'm bringing out. Um, I love this dress. I wore it loads last summer. So I'm gonna bring this out because it will undoubtedly get worn again. It's from H&M. Weirdly, when I went to Australia in November, this was just out because obviously that's coming into their summer. Um, whereas it had went into sale well by that time for us so it's not available anymore a lot like you're not going to get any of this stuff available anymore I wouldn't imagine because obviously it's been in my possession for some time and I'm bringing it out I hope that by making this video I can let you see you don't need to keep buying new things all the time if you do this then I find it helps kind of limit that even though I love shopping even though I love going and picking up new things by doing this, I, I, it tr tries to limit that. So, cats inside the bloody dress. So I've kind of swapped out my winter pumps and I'm bringing out my spring summer pumps. So I will put all these down in this bottom drawer now. Okay, so the majority of this box has been like shoes, some accessories, bags and things, but also shirts. So like spring, summer shirts. Um, unfortunately, they are very creased now. Okay, so that's me done, thank God. And I am going to take the camera off and actually show you where things are. And if anything from my chest of drawers, like vests and kind of camisoles and things like that, I will add them in there as well. But I will show you that in the video when I clean out my chest of drawers. Because in my chest of drawers, I just have loads of like daily t-shirts. My kind of what I put on to just get up of a day, jeans and t-shirts, band t-shirts, stuff like that. So I will go through that in a whole other video if you've managed to get to the end of this one. Bloody well done. So let me show you quickly how things are a bit closer up. Okay, so as I said, you don't want to see... Oh my God! Um, <laughs> but at the bottom here, I have put all of my kind of boots and things that I'm going to still probably wear throughout the year. In here, I have any kind of more summer style of pumps, I would say. And I actually have a few that I keep under my bed, so I will move them into here. I also have Converse that are strictly always kept under my bed because they're the things I probably put on my feet most of the time. These ones here as well have just came out of the boxes there and they will probably go in here too. So, that, that drawer in here I have all my bags. Now, things like more summer bags, little backpacks, 
clutch bags. You always need a black clutch bag, so there's kind of different versions of clutch bags. This one is quite fun. It's like a satchel bag that I've had for a few years, but I like it for this time of year in the summer and that little kind of belt bag that I have there. I also have my raffia kind of box bag that will go in here as well. There's still plenty of room to get more stuff in here and I will pop them in and my Zara bag, which is much more in my everyday bag, stays in my bedroom, along with kind of tote bags and bigger pieces. Coats, as I said, coats, jackets, blazers, denim jackets, etc. Long maxi dresses, jumpsuits, play suits, etc. I never actually showed you this one, so this is like a really long maxi dress that I got from Boohoo a couple of years ago. Beautiful for the beach, so I'm going to keep that one in there. Long kind of style palazzo pant type things, skirts, summer dresses, um, vest type camisole tops that I will wear over summer and these are all shirts and then these are all kind of dresses that although this one seems to stick out a little bit they're kind of interchangeable through summer and I'm going to turn this one into a top and accessories and in here I have my mules I've got a couple of pair of heels in here because you just really never know when you might need a pair of heels so in these three drawers, on the top I have put kind of vest tops, which are relatively casual, um, crop tops, which are a little bit more, not like crop, like bardo tops, that's what I mean, bardo tops. Here are just some t-shirts, and these ones are kind of more beachy style, like either cropped or kind of crocheted style. She's in amongst everything, my god. In the second drawer, it is empty because I'm going to move all of my kind of casual everyday t-shirt type things into here for the summer so they are more accessible. And in this drawer is pretty much just holiday, so that's my holiday hat. Um, there's some espadrilles there, some kind of more holiday style slide type things, some flip-flops, you get the picture. That's some swimwear. All the shorts that I said, there is a snorkel in that bag. And there's some kind of beach style throwover, just easy going dresses and types of things like that. So that's strictly holiday shop in there. Put my hat back in. Always bounces back into good shape, that hat. But that is it, that is it. All cleared out, thank the Lord. And all the stuff that I've pulled out of there will now go back in these two little boxes. I'm back up here, unless it's going to the charity shop, but there's this big pile of stuff that I'm going to either charity shop or sell. Um, actually, if I come over, this bag is new. My mum had bought me it at Christmas, but I thought it was just a bit too bright for that time of year. So this can go into here too, so that we can use that over spring and summer. But Jesus Christ, pray for me. So that is me signing off from this probably very long video, but equally, I feel good for doing it, but I'm looking at this thinking, Christ, why did I bother doing this again? Because <laughs> you just feel like every time that you do this, I don't, I, there's not usually as much of a clear out as this, to be fair. But all the stuff that's going back into storage actually isn't that big, it's just really bulky. And then all the things that I'm like, I don't wear these anymore, I need to move them on to someone. I'm looking at the pile and I'm just like, how much crap have I accumulated? It's ridiculous. So, all of this stuff is going to be passed on, moved on. So glad I've done it. And my wardrobe is looking a little bit more manageable. And I do actually have a few nice new pieces that I had got for summer. I bought a couple of things, two dresses and one jumpsuit. Two dresses, one jumpsuit, yeah. Um, and some white denims as well. So they will now be able to be incorporated into my wardrobe and be worn a lot more easily without just whoa, all shouting at you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, please make sure to watch the following. I also done a makeup declutter, so you should be able to see that too. I will link it above somewhere. And I will do my chest of drawers declutter too. You will get to see that. So that is all for now and if you want to see how I style any of the stuff you, you know go and follow me over on Instagram because that's usually where I post any kind of outfit type things um, and I'm on Twitter as well but I still don't use that very well at all. 
So, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Please give me a little thumbs up if you want. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.